Do you guys know what the functional unit of the kidney is to help you make urine? It's the nephron. Let's go ahead and take a look at the nephron in a 3D model. Here we have a 3D model of the nephron, and I'm using one from Sketchfab. The link's going to be in the description. But if we look at the nephron, we can see that these over here are the blood vessels. This is the blood going to come into the kidney that is going to get filtered. So if we zoom in on that area over here, here are our blood vessels. That's a capillary, and this is known as the glomerulus. So the blood's going to come in, it's going to get filtered out, and stuff that's filtered out ends up in this space in here inside of this little cup, which is known as Bowman's capsule. Some people call it the glomerular capsule. So stuff moves from Bowman's capsule or the glomerular capsule through this little tube into this open duct here. And this first part of the duct is known as the proximal convoluted tubule. From the proximal convoluted tubule, stuff moves through into the loop of Henle, or what some people call the nephron loop. It has a descending limb, so it goes down first, then it hits the loop where it flips back around, and then comes up the ascending limb. So over here we have the descending limb, over here we have the ascending limb. From there, content will move into the distal convoluted tubule. This here is the distal convoluted tubule. And then finally into the collecting duct. So what you will see is that multiple nephrons will drain into a single collecting duct. So from beginning to end, if we sort of zoom out here, what we can see is that you have Bowman's capsule, the proximal convoluted tubule, descending limb, loop of Henle or nep nephron loop, ascending limb, distal convoluted tubule, and then the collecting duct. And those are the parts of the nephron. Now you know. Later.